Hi guys, my name is Najah Sayed. I am a writer, a poet. I wrote this book and this book. And I will be reacting to Taylor Swift's All Too Well today. Before we start anything, the lights have to change. They have to go. Yeah, that's, that's a lot better. So I'm gonna be honest, I heard this song once last night when it came out. It's the 10 minute version, so I heard it only once because it takes the length of three songs, uh, like Taylor said herself, and I was absolutely blown away. But when I heard it for the first time, it was more emotions, it was more feeling the song. So I didn't really pay attention to all the lyrics as much as I wanted to. It was more feels and, and what it, what is happening to me. And so that's why I thought I would react to the lyrics of the song on camera and see what I think about them. My general perception of Taylor Swift is that she is one of the best songwriters we've had in the past 20 to 30 years. A lot of people akin her to Bruce Springsteen. I am one of those people. I think her songwriting talents far surpassed anything that we listen to in, in the modern pop radio. She is a universal treasure to behold and we are lucky to be alive at the same time as her. That is my general perception of her as an artist. All Too Well is one of my favorite songs by Taylor Swift, uh, even after Evermore and Folklore came out, which had some of the best songs she's ever written. All Too Well sits at the highest mantle just because of how young she was when she wrote it, the storytelling in that song, and the sheer emotion and pain that you feel through her words, through her melodies, and through her voice while you're listening to the song. It's immaculate. It's probably the best that she's ever done. And I feel like every other song she's written has just been trying to top all too well because it's that good. And without much further ado, we will dive deep into the all too well 10 minute version lyric video. And here we go. <laughs> Immediately, the sound is very different from what it was originally. And there she is singing it. <laughs> when I heard it last night, I heard it on Spotify. So it was just, just vocals and music. She looks gorgeous. Like immediately it takes you back to the original, but somehow makes it better. The production is clearly different, but the words are still immaculate. The original lyrics are so good. <laughs> Oh, fine at all. I'm not okay, but I'm fine at all. It's one of the best lines in the song. Almost red. Oh, I, I they shaded red in red. See, it's the imagery that she creates. Wind in my hair, I was there. I remember it all too well. Like, it's just, it just takes you to that specific place. It's the small things that she notices, right? Twin size bed, little kids with glasses, T-ball team. Such precise moments. New lyrics. I think I, I remember this part last night. Keychain on the ground, we all speak in town. Whoa, that's dark. Oh. It's the way she describes her pain, man. It's all about that. There's nothing else. 
Forget why I needed you. Forget about you long enough to forget why I needed to. That's insane. Length of time. That's represented in that lyric. Again, tiny details like that. Dancing around the kitchen with the refrigerator. That's such a precise moment, a precise memory that she's rekindling. It's, it's magic. I love how pretty she looks while she's singing this. You kept me like a secret, but I kept you like an oath. What? What did she just say? You kept me like a secret, but I kept you like an oath. That is beautiful. That high note, it's coming, it's coming. So casually cruel in the name of being honest. Oh my god. Mm. New, ver new verse. To double cross my mind. Not cross my mind. Oh. No, Taylor. Because the shine reflects on you? Yeah. It's always an actress. to be fun turning 21 there's that scarf there's a scarf oh my god this freaking song sorry i'm fiddling because i'm nervous gonna be my old self again now you mail back my things It's that darn scarf. Can't get rid of it. The, the original lyrics are fitting so well with the new ones. Before you lost the only thing, thing you ever knew. Oh. The emotion on her face. The new lyrics. Sorry. I get older, but your lovers will stay my age. Snow 
It's the imagery that she's creating. I'm telling you, she's a master of this. And mind you, she wrote this when she was 21. Ugh. I'm telling you, man, this song has taken the wind out of my chest right now. Oh, it's the outro for me. It's the outro for me. I mean, she knows that her lyrics are so powerful that if she repeats them as the outro, they will hit. And they are hitting right here. They're so well-crafted. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm going to I'm going to stop this now because I have so many thoughts. This went on it didn't feel like it went on for 10 minutes firstly. That's the first thing that I noticed immediately. I looked at the clock and it's 9 minutes and 25 seconds is when I stopped it and it felt like it was only 4 minutes. I felt like I was listening to the original song that was only what 5 minutes something seconds and that's what it felt like to me. That's that's just a testament to her songwriting and her ability to capture my attention for this long. Firstly, secondly, the words, the words. She goes back and says, I'm just going to pull up the lyrics here. She says, I remember it all too well. And there we are again when nobody had to know. You kept me like a secret, but I kept you like an oath. Sacred prayer and we'd swear to remember it all too well. Is that the best line she's ever written? You kept me like a secret, but I kept you like an oath. A secret is kept hidden from people. An oath is declared in front of everyone. You take an oath when you take the stand at a trial, but you keep a secret when you don't want your friends to know something. The depth in that couplet has me shattered. It immediately struck me. It's just one of those things where she just gets better and better every time she writes. And I would, if this is the original lyric from when she wrote it and when she was 21, then she was crowned the queen of storytelling way back when like folklore evermore should not have been the should not have been her coronation but this should have been her coronation the new lyrics are gelling really well with the old ones i mean of course they're they're not new or old they're just one continuous story that you know edited out and and we all know that we've all been there I've, there have been many times where i've been sub, where i've submitted stories where i thought everything was important and the editors would take it out and it felt like a part of that story was taken out uh in my case, it was probably for the best, but here, the added little snippets, uh, the added lyrics are really blossoming the song into its its full potential. It had the strength to go that far, and it did. It did not miss. As a writer, I am envious of the type of words that she uses, like Folklore and Evermore had those Emily Dickinson and uh, Gatsby references and Mary Shelley references, and this is again, just a testament to how amazing of a songwriter she is. The way that she builds these worlds, the way that she taps into memories that are so specific to her and yet so universal to everyone else. Like, as a storyteller, that is the goal. That y you are able to create something that everyone is able to relate to. And she's done it. She's done it time and time again. All to a 10-minute version is no, it's no exception. It's amazing. Guys, thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching my reaction. I am blown away. This will be played over and over and over again many times, just like All Too Well original version was. If you liked what you guys saw, please subscribe, uh, leave a comment. Let's have a discussion about this song. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about it. If you're interested in what I'm doing, I have a new book coming out in a couple of weeks, so you can check all of that out in the description below. My name is Nazar Sayed. Help me beat the algorithm. Help me grow. And I shall see you guys on the other side.